down. How's it going YouTube? It's your Uncle Spearfield7. Today I'm bringing you another Black Ops 3 beta gameplay and we're going to talk a little bit about why I think that this is going to be the funnest Call of Duty in a very very long time. Now BO2 is my favorite title in the franchise. Um, I've played a lot of the others but nothing really got me hooked like BO2 did. And I see a lot of indicators with the, the beta and from what I'm reading about the game that I think that pub stomping is going to return. I think people are going to have a lot more fun playing this game. And so this episode is just going to be kind of a quick commentary talking about the reasons why I think that is. Um, first off, the spawns. Um, now, if you're kind of an average to below average player, and I mean, you can be honest with yourself. I mean, honestly, I think I could be a lot better. I feel like I struggle in certain situations. If you're an average player, you're probably not going to like the fact that the spawns kind of stink in the game. They're very predictable. Uh, I would say by like the second day of the beta, people were kind of camping near the spawns, just waiting for people to respawn and get kills. Um, obviously, everybody's goal is to stay alive as long as possible, rack up as many kills as possible, and uh, not die. And... Um, Ultimately, I think that if you are a pub stomper or that if you do take the game seriously, you're somewhat decent at it, that the spawns are really going to help you, uh, you know, pad those really, really epic, awesome gameplays, which I hope to capture. I mean, I got a couple hundred pluses on this channel. If you haven't checked them out, you can just by visiting some of my older videos. Um, but moving on, I think that the game modes are very player friendly. Um, I got a taste of the new safeguard mode. The, that's the mode that I dropped the 100 pluses on. And it's kind of like Demolition. If you haven't played the beta, you escort a robot across the map. And it's just kind of a pandemonium mayhem chaos thing where you're just going out there and trying to rack up as many kills as possible and that game mode really allows you to do it. Um, it's going to be annoying when the game comes out when people don't play the objective, don't try to win, uh, but as far as the instant gratification of getting a shitload of kills, um, Safeguard's going to be a great game mode. I'm so happy they brought back Demolition by the end of Black Ops 2 on the Wii U and PS3. I was doing a lot of spawn trapping on demo and it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of laughs and a lot of good times doing that. And that game mode is, is returning to the series. So ultimately I think along with Hardpoint and the traditional staples like Hardpoint, Domination, etc. Um, you're really going to have a lot of game modes that are very friendly to people who want to go for big game plays and want to get lots of chain kills and multi kills and and really feel like a beast which is like what Call of Duty has been missing for like a couple years is that there aren't enough uh, gratifying moments that make you feel like a beast that make you feel like the best in the lobby that make you feel like you're I don't know MLG bound in the immediate future you know what I mean lastly gunsmith now there's a couple things I noticed about the beta that I didn't really hear a whole lot of people talking about that I think is a very important thing to kind of discuss. So in Gunsmith, which wasn't available in the beta, it's my understanding that you go into this thing and you can change the look of your gun and you can add all sorts of special attachments and special aesthetic things. I didn't see a lot of people talking about the fact that you can have like a shitload of attachments on your guns now. Um, I was playing in a party with a friend and he goes, dude, I cannot believe it. You can equip extended mags and fast mags. Um, and that's really a big deal. I mean, it's kind of like nerdy and I'm kind of digging deep into the series here. But um, the fact that you can have extendos and fast mags and if you equip scavenger, you'll never run out of ammo and then it'll allow you to get into larger crowds and clear larger crowds. Like, imagine if you had, uh, let me just throw out a weapon, like the Razorback. You got 50 bullets in the clip, so that means that you can run into a room with like four or five people on the other team, take them all out, if you have the skill to do so, and then make it out alive. And it's that kind of like, 
I don't know, junk food kind of approach to things that like, yeah, you can stack up as many attachments as you want. You can have five, six attachments on your gun. So let's think of like assault rifles. You can have a laser sight, extended mags, quick draw, uh, reflex sight, stock, you know, all on the same weapon. So I think it's gonna make the guns extremely powerful. And it's actually kind of creatively genius. Like, I think that that's gonna prevent people from complaining about guns that are OP. Because it's like, look, whatever the problem is with a particular gun, you have the tools available to you to, to correct it. You know, imagine if you had a Scar H from Black Ops 2 and you could put rapid fire on it, you could put stock on it, you could put a foregrip on it, and in, in BO3 and the Call of Duty since BO2, the foregrip actually does help. Um, if you can put all of those things on your gun, you are going to be an absolute monster. You're going to have the ability to go into large crowds, into large rooms, and just wipe everybody out. And that's why I think it's going to be so fun. And honestly, I'm stoked. I can't even wait anymore. I don't want to play anything else because I know when BO3 drops, I'm just going to be 24-7, 365 on that shit. It's going to be so awesome. So anyways, these are just a few small thoughts that I had floating around in my head. I've been playing a lot of BO2, trying to get ready. Uh, the past weekend, I actually got a 31-0 and 0 flawless uh, on TDM, so I'm going to put together kind of a cinematic video um, using theater mode. I'm really excited that uh, Treyarch's bringing back theater mode for BO3. I think it's going to be so much fun, and I think it's going to allow me the tools to make really cool next level videos that maybe you aren't going to see on other channels and uh, I really like montages, I really like the more produced videos because I, th I think those really stand out. They take a hell of a long time to make and I don't always have a lot of free time in the world um, but when I do I hope that y'all are getting something good out of this channel and I hope you can stick with me and maybe share this with a friend or two. This is your Uncle Spearfield 7 Peace.